Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much if you are a Wow. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to a small creator like myself. Super excited to dive into this topic. And when I say excited, um, I think I mean scared. Yeah. Yet not surprised in the slightest. So if you have not heard already, apparently Lil Nas X is going to be dropping a new single this Friday. And I mean... <laughs> What can I say? What can I say? Once again, he is doing what Nas does best, and that is create controversy, and that is have the internet exploding and being completely polarized over his decisions and what he is doing artistically and how he is going about his quote unquote Christian era that he is allegedly just entering into now. Now, is he a legit Christian? Is he trolling? Christians? Is this all just a huge PR stunt? I don't know. We don't know. We're going to look at the evidence together and draw our own conclusions. At the end of the day, all will be exposed if he truly has had a heart change, which, hey, I pray to God he has. I really do. Or if he is just doing what Nas does best. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness this is crazy put on your scuba gear we're diving right on in honey i'm just gonna read this but this is really what makes it interesting because it's not only that Nas is saying that he is now a Christian and that he has officially entered into his Christian era. He's also simultaneously communicating that this drop on Friday, the single drop that he's releasing, is a part of his ploy to expose the music industry. So it's sort of a two-part bomb that he's sort of dropping on the world. Hey! Back up! This is a homemade explosive device. And I'll blow it up. Through his new single that is being released this Friday. Lil Nas X teased his brand new song and is expected to reveal the dark underbelly of the music business. That sounds like my cup of tea. With a forthcoming release, Nas promises to throw the industry into a frenzy when his new song arrives everywhere soon. The upcoming track is titled J. Christ, accompanied by cover art featuring the singer slash rapper being nailed to the cross. Was that really necessary? I digress. I'm trying not to give out my personal opinions at this point of the video. I'm just trying to provide you with information. My single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time, said Nas. Hey, I agree with that. Me knowing I'm about to expose the industry next Friday and realizing I need to watch my back for the next seven days. Whether it's a very real concern or simply part of a promo, many fans grew worried over his comments saying, don't die. <laughs> I mean, I don't want him to die. I'm just so dramatic. The new song comes on the heels of Nas claiming he was entering his Christian era. Y'all see everything I do as a gimmick, when in reality, I'm just an artist expressing myself in different ways, he posted. Whether I'm a cowboy, gay, satanic, or now Christian, y'all find a problem. Y'all don't please nobody else art like mine. Y'all hate me because I'm cute and petite. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of funny. <laughs> it's just, I find it interesting even in that comment that he just made like, oh, I'm a cowboy, I'm gay, I'm satanic, now I'm a Christian. It's just like, to him, these are just different outfits he puts on for a new song, for a new release, which to me communicates that it's not actually genuine. I mean, Christianity is not, it's, it's not a hat that I just put on one day and then I keep off all the rest. It is a lifestyle. It is a belief system. It will change you from the inside out. If there is a true encounter with God, with Christ through the Holy Spirit, you, then your life is going to produce completely different fruit. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing the same Lil Nas X, maybe different font, but not even. It's just I'm seeing a consistent pattern with Nas. And I feel like even though he's saying it's his Christian era, it sort of follows suits with everything else he has done. Before I fully give my opinion and my thoughts, I did want to kind of go to the internet because the internet obviously is very polarized on this topic. Just a few comments from Twitter. Okay, my neighbors just keep walking back and forth and they're fighting. 
Nas tweeted, the crazy thing is nowhere in the picture is a mockery of Jesus. Jesus's image is used throughout history in people's art all over the world. I'm not making fun of y'all just gotta stop trying to gatekeep a religion that was here before any of us were even born stfu another girl tweeted nas is the biggest attention seeker on earth he's always trying to profit from disrespecting christianity and it's disgusting someone else is calling to cancel lil nas x and i will go ahead and show you the video lil nas x ladies and gentlemen i told you this man was trolling listen stop liking his stuff stop commenting on his stuff and most definitely stop listening to his stuff you guys see he only does this with christians he ain't doing this with the muslims he ain't doing this with the buddhists he ain't doing this with the hindus you know why because it's a spiritual battle that we deal with and the spirits on him know who christ is the spirits influencing him know who christ is and what do you think they want to do most they want to get you distracted thinking God is not real. They want to get you distracted thinking God is not a big deal. So he mocks the Lord. He mocks Christians. But my brothers and sisters, this is temporary. What he's doing right now is mockery. And whether he believes it or not, there will be consequences for his actions. I don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything. God Almighty will humble this man. And when that time comes, there will be no more joking around. There will be no more mocking the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. When that time comes, there will be a wishing I didn't do this, wishing I didn't do that. When that time comes, all the joking is going to be over. No one is going to be laughing in. You don't mock the Lord. You get too caught up in this physical flesh, start thinking things are a game. Well, guess what, little Nazi baby? It's almost game over. Lil Nazi baby, he called you out, my dude. To a point, right? I will attempt to look at things objectively. And even looking at it objectively, I can't help but notice the fact that Nas does seem to have some kind of obsession with Christianity. And that was kind of the point that he was making in this video was that you don't see him dabbling with or drawing inspiration from or using different symbolism within other religions. It's always with Christianity and I think some people would say well yeah that's because that's what his background is in like he grew up in a Christian household most Christians majority of Christians will say because it is a spiritual battle because he is in line with the enemy with Satan who he loves apparently giving lap dances to and he is accomplishing his will on this earth and that's why he is so drawn to Christianity because it's true, but making a mockery of it to lessen the weightiness of and the reality and the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Someone else said, everyone is talking about Lil Nas X disrespecting religion. I need you to go outside and touch the first green thing you see because I know you ain't say none about Kendrick or Pac or Cole or Ye or Jay or dot, 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 which is true. I mean, Kendrick Lamar specifically talking about him he also had sort of a debacle I think it was last year and he was performing and he wore a crown of thorns and he was bleeding I'm not going to talk about every single person who has utilized Christianity within their music but I'm just talking about Kendrick Lamar specifically from my perspective it just seemed like there was still a level of respect that he handled that with Nas really just kind of gives like the annoying relative who cannot take anything seriously he makes fun of everything everything is a joke nothing is sacred so another person again said since he he came out as gay y'all crucify Lil Nas X for breathing I've seen more chatter about him being nailed to the cross than when the baby recently did it y'all hyped up Kanye so much he believe he is Jesus y'all forgot the initial Yeezus album cover I'm sleep trying to see it from that point of view objectively looking at it, it's like yeah I get it a lot of artists have used this type of symbolism in their art in their music uh Madonna had crosses on fire behind her in her music video for uh, like a prayer uh, you have Lady Gaga prancing around saying that she's in love with Judas Demi Lovato which honestly that that actually really uh that one really hurt her album cover with her in bondage laying on a bed that is shaped like a cross yeah I find that incredibly offensive as a Christian sexualizing the cross is so disrespectful and if anybody ever did that for any other religion like you would be canceled is there no way we can get rid of him not without cause michael i have cause 
It is because I hate him. But the reality is that people have used Christianity in their art, in their music for decades. Like this is not a new thing. It did not start with Lil Nas X. It's not going to end with Lil Nas X. But I guess the real question is, is he being genuine? Is he being sincere in his claims that he is in his Christian era? Here are some of the TikToks that Nas has been posting in regards to this song, where he talks about exposing the industry and needing extra protection. Let's just take a look. Me knowing I'm about to expose the industry next Friday and realizing I need to watch my back for the next seven days mm. hey miss yes can i would you like one dollar or do you want to double it and give it to the next person give it a dollar do you no i'm saying do you want the dollar or do you want to double it and give it to the next person so the next person gets two dollars give me the dollar when my label gave me the choice of going independent to release my gospel music or staying with them so he's implying that he is independent now so he can release his gospel music. How noble. <laughs> me explaining to my fans that the media stopped supporting me after I started promoting God to the masses and that the industry is wicked, which is why I was blackballed from releasing music for the last year and a half. But I'm finally independent now and will be dropping a new song next week. Just a couple more. Do y'all notice how a lot of celebrities went quiet after I said I'm about to start exposing people? Also, don't worry about me. I'm in a secluded place where no one will find me. Me, be ready for 112. And then he posted this today, which I feel is very telling of what is really going on here. Take a look. Some of the comments say, yeah, I thought he changed, dot, dot, dot. And that is Lil Nas for you. If he had genuinely changed and encountered God in a way that was sincere, I don't think he would be posting a TikTok of himself dressed like Jesus, taking communion, downing it like it's shots and eating the bread, which is supposed to represent and signify the body of Christ, eating it like chips. Obviously that is incredibly telling. Obvious. As a Christian, communion is something that is holy. Communion is not something to be taken lightly. Every time we take communion it is a reminder of what Christ did for us on the cross for everyone. He did for everybody, regardless of who you are. If you're a gay, cowboy, satanic, Christian, doesn't matter. He died for all of us. And to also remind us of his return to the earth, which is a very real return, mind you. Um, one that is physical, not just spiritual. Like he's coming back. So whether you believe it or not, call me crazy. Don't really care. That's not how we do it, Nazi baby. Definitely disrespectful is what I am trying to communicate. Here's the thing, okay? As much as I personally want to believe that Lil Nas X has come to know Jesus in a personal way that has completely transformed his life and that he would be willing to walk away from a major label because of his newfound convictions in Christ, I want that more than anybody. And maybe other Christians are a little bit more harsh or they find some kind of, or it seemingly find some kind of satisfaction in the fact that one day Nas is going to be judged and going to have to give an account for his life and all of his deeds that he has done. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I, it doesn't make me happy to think that this is him being completely disingenuous and just doing this for, as a PR move. But I'm leaning more towards the fact that that is what is going on here, uh, simply because this is just what Lil Nas X does best. I mean, might I remind you at one point in time, he was pregnant. Yes, he was on the cover of People magazine as a pregnant man ready to give birth. Like why they posted that, I have no idea. I still to this day, it boggles my mind how he made the freaking cover of People as a pregnant man with a fake belly strapped on to his abdomen. I don't understand it, obviously, but then again, I'm not surprised because this is the world that we live in right now. Or again, to revisit the fact that not so long ago, Lil Nas X was giving Satan a lap dance in hell. The laundry list goes on and on. Nas does these things for attention. He does these things 
to stir us up. He wants to get a rise out of us because controversy causes more engagement and more engagement means more reach and more reach means more streams and more streams means more money. That, in my opinion, is all that I see going on here. I can't communicate enough how much I wish this was real. I would love to see Nas come to the Lord for real, for real, for real. Christianity is his religion of choice to sort of poke fun at and mock. And to me, that only shows a greater evidence of his longing and need for God, whether he's being totally motivated by demonic forces, which obviously I do believe that that is for sure at play in this. But as human beings, we are made in the image of God. And I genuinely believe that we all were born with a God-sized hole that only he can fill. Yes, I know that's a very cliche Christian thing to say, but it is true. Maybe in some weird warped way, this is his way of tapping into his faith roots, but still trying to appeal to the masses by doing it in a way that is seemingly gimmicky and mocking, not in a way that is beautiful and a way that is inspiring and respectful. I do believe there's hope for him. There's hope for all of us. As long as there is lung or lungs in our air. Yep. As long as there is breath in our lungs, there is hope for us. That is my prayer. I will be praying for Nas. I hope he comes to Jesus. But until then, yeah, maybe let's just stop giving him the attention that he so desires, which why am I even saying that? Because I'm literally making an entire video about this man. But in all seriousness, I really do pray for him. And I hope that he does have an encounter with Christ before it is too late in a way that will change his life and give him genuine peace and joy in a way that is indescribable that I have come to know for myself. All that I have for you in this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Ring the bell icon for notifications for when I drop my latest videos. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Godspeed.